Operating a rover on Mars is tricky, even when the rover is working correctly. But when the rover starts having problems, it takes the ingenuity of our entire team to try and figure out how to solve it. Engineers love boring. Boring means clear skies, no problems. The work is a little easier and the scientists get the data they want. But if you want to get an engineer excited, you throw them a curveball. Maybe some danger, maybe an anomaly. A heater that's stuck in the on position. The robotic arm didn't want to unstow. The real dust storm began. Got stuck in a dune an elevated current in the right front wheel. A massive dust storm. We had to learn to drive with broken steering. The gears were becoming worn on one side. We had to get very creative very quickly. But happily, we've made it through those challenges and challenges of uh, difficult terrain, navigating high slopes, or having to survive for the winter by finding places that are safe for the rover to park and hibernate over the winter. And I think to this day, uh, you say dust storm, and it strikes a little needle of terror into uh, all of our hearts. It's been a real fun challenge to uh, have problems and try to work out solutions, you know, discover what we can do and think about ways we can solve them. We do diagnostics. Brainstorming. Workaround. Workarounds. Workarounds. We're coming up with new workarounds to allow this hardware that is still functioning on the surface of Mars to continue to function and return excellent science to the science team. Every day, we're, we're shocked that uh, it's still going. Yet, as engineers, we're gonna fight really hard to make sure that it just keeps going and going and going. The most valuable thing that we've learned from these rovers lasting so long is that if something breaks, you can find, usually, something that will allow you to continue the mission even though one item on the rover has stopped working. We can even make changes on a rover that's hundreds of millions of miles away. We can make the changes on Earth, test them out here, make sure they're going to be good, and then send it up to Mars. A piece of equipment that has not been serviced by human hands in over 10 years is still working. I don't think your car works that good. We're going to keep pushing the rover like we meant to ever since we landed and see what we can see, see what's over the next hill and what's at the next crater. Stay tuned, there's more to come from Opportunity.